Okay, morning guys. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a daisy chain. Um, this is the way I do it. Um, I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong. Um, I'll try to show you a very quick and effective way of making a daisy chain. Okay, most of the nowadays the guys use daisy chains to catch uh, La Bonita, which we use as bait. Um, it can be very effective on catching yellowfin tuna, um, even toothy critters like kuda, kingies, places like Mozambique, it's a very, very effective way of fishing. So it's not just specifically for targeting bonito and catching your live bait, but it can be used to catch many different types of fish. Okay, so basically I'm using a 34007 mustard stainless steel hook. Um, this is a size one. Obviously you would use the size of hook appropriate to the size of skirt that you're going to be using. Okay, this trace is quite cool because you tie it backwards. So you start at the bottom of the, of the trace, so you tie your back hook first. Okay, I'm just tying a, a standard figure of eight, just to show you guys. I'm using yellow line, just so it's a little bit clearer in the video. So there's my standard figure of eight. Wet it, pull it tight. And I'm going to clip that tag in. Okay, and then basically what I do is I'll find a bead, pink and green. Um, a couple of little tricks I've learned with this is um, what you do is you, you mix it up a bit. So I'll put one green bead and then the next daisy chain I'll actually put a pink bead. Um, I've heard the theory that the last one should be a different color because it looks like something's chasing it and that's the one that's struggling behind and generally that's the one that gets hooked. Some guys use a crimp and they only put a hook on the back. They don't actually put hooks all the way up. But I put hooks on all my daisy chains. Um, I find that um, sometimes they'll key in on the green or the pink or whatever color you're using. Okay, um, I'm using Yamashita clear skirts here just to show you an example. But there are lots of different color skirts available and there's no hard and fast rule. You can use pink, you can use green, you can use glow, you can use whatever. Just find what works for you and then do it that way. So I just slide the skirt over the over my line and I pull it down and you see the pink bead or the green bead goes inside the skirt there. That just stops the plastic from pulling over the hook um, and also adds a bit of color and a bit of flash um, to, the, to the skirt. Okay, so that's basically your first one. A lot of guys tie it like a Christmas tea trays so they have an extra line coming off with another skirt. Now what that does is something a teeth comes along and bites it off, your whole daisy chain doesn't get destroyed. Personally I think that it swims better if it's all in line. Um, so that's how I tie it. So I started at the bottom, I'll thread the next hook up the line. And then the spacing is a personal preference but I go about 25 centimeters apart. I hold the hook there and then I just wind the lead line around the shank and down until it's tight take the top tag in. So what I, once I've tied that, then what I'll do is I'll come in through the top of the hook and you pull that tight and what it does is it actually pushes the, the point of the hook inwards, not outwards. So I think you get a more positive hook up rate like that. Okay, and then it's just the next process. Another bead. I'm gonna go a different color here. I'm gonna go pink. Slide that one on. I'm going to put another Yamashita skirt on. As I said, you can use different colors to mix it up. Slide that over. And then, one more. As I said, it's a daisy chain. There's no hard and fast rule. You can put 10 hooks if you want to. Uh, personally, I think two or three is enough. You can even fish one hook if need be. Again, I'm doing the same knot, just winding it down about six times. It just stiff rigs the hook. Then I come in through the top again, turns the hook in. I'm going to go with another pink bead here.
and then I finish it off with a power saw. So it's five, six, seven, eight. It's not really that important. This just stops the daisy chain from spinning. And just for uh, demonstration purposes, I've used a, a bright yellow line. Um, obviously, you wouldn't use this um, because it's very visible in the water. Um, I prefer using sunline um, or any high quality fluorocarbon. And that's basically your, your daisy chain. As I said, the disadvantages of tying it this way is that it's all in line, so it can get bitten off. Um, you do get uh, uh, ready-made up daisy chains. They made with a with a Christmas tree trace, with an actual snoot coming off, and each skirt tied individually on there. Um, so those are available. And uh, yeah, as I said, there's no hard and fast rule. This is the way I like to tie it. It's effective for me. Um, and yeah, that's a daisy chain.